Welcome to the News Hub, we're excited to have you here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for latest news and updates. Now dive into the video. Have you seen the news? Maybe you read a post online or saw a video that made your heart stop. The story goes something like this. Pluto, the small icy world at the edge of our solar system has collided with the giant planet Neptune. The internet claims that something terrifying is happening out there in the dark. People are sharing this story very fast, it sounds scary and exciting. When we hear about big events in space we want to know more. We wonder what it means for us here on Earth. This idea of two worlds crashing into each other is a very powerful image. It makes us feel small in a very big universe. This rumor has captured the imagination of many people around the world. It is a story of cosmic drama, a tale of two distant worlds meeting in a destructive embrace. The claim suggests that the quiet, predictable solar system we know has suddenly become a place of chaos. People are asking questions. Did scientists miss something? Was this collision a surprise? Is there a giant mess of ice and gas where Pluto used to be? These are important questions, and they show how much we care about the universe we live in. We look up at the night sky and want to understand what is happening so far away. But before we get too worried, we need to act like scientists. To understand why Pluto and Neptune cannot collide, we first need to look at how they travel through space. Think of the solar system as a giant racetrack. Each planet has its own lane, which we call an orbit. Earth takes about 365 days to go around the Sun in its lane. The planets farther away from the Sun have much longer orbits. Neptune, the eighth planet, is very far away. It takes Neptune about 165 Earth years to make just one trip around the Sun. Its orbit is a nearly perfect circle like most of the other major planets in our solar system. It stays in its lane and follows a very predictable path. Pluto's journey is very different, its orbit is not a neat circle. Instead it is a long, stretched out oval shape, this is called an eccentric orbit. Because of this oval shape, Pluto's distance from the Sun changes a lot. Sometimes it is much closer to the Sun and other times it is extremely far away. This unusual path is one of the reasons people thought a collision with Neptune might be possible. For a short time in its long journey, Pluto's orbit actually comes inside Neptune's orbit. From 1979 to 1999 Pluto was actually closer to the Sun than Neptune was. It felt like a car changing lanes on the highway. The main reason Pluto and Neptune will never collide is because of something scientists call an orbital resonance. This sounds complicated but the idea is simple. It is like two dancers who have perfectly timed their moves, so they never bump into each other. For every three times that Neptune orbits the Sun, Pluto orbits the Sun exactly two times. This is known as a 3 to 2 resonance. This repeating pattern means their positions relative to each other are always predictable. They are locked in a gravitational rhythm that has kept them safe for billions of years. It is one of the most stable and beautiful harmonies in our entire solar system. Let's think about what this 3 to 2 resonance really means. Because Neptune is so much bigger than Pluto, its gravity controls the dance. Neptune's gravity keeps Pluto in this special orbit. Every time Pluto gets close to the point where its path crosses Neptune's, the giant planet is always somewhere else in its own orbit. By the time Pluto arrives at the crossing point, Neptune is far away. The timing is always perfect. This gravitational lock prevents them from ever having a close encounter. They are like two ships passing in the night, always aware of each other but never coming close enough to be a danger. While the rumor of a crash with Neptune is not true, Pluto does have a very dramatic and violent past. The real story of a major collision is written right on Pluto's face. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto in 2015, it sent back incredible pictures. The most famous feature it discovered was a huge, bright, heart-shaped region on Pluto's surface. This feature, named Tombaugh Regio after Pluto's discoverer, was a complete surprise. Scientists immediately began to wonder how this giant heart formed. It was a mystery that pointed to a very big event in Pluto's history. Recent studies have given us the answer. The western side of the heart, a smooth icy plain called Sputnik Planitia, was not formed by volcanoes or other internal processes. Instead, scientists now believe it was created by a massive collision. A very long time ago, another large object, a planetary body about 435 miles or 700 kilometers wide, crashed into Pluto. This was not a small asteroid. 
this was a giant impactor, big enough to change the face of Pluto forever. This event was the real cosmic crash in Pluto's story, a far more interesting tale than any online rumor. The giant collision in Pluto's past did more than just create a big hole. It set in motion a series of events that ultimately formed the beautiful heart shape we see today. After the impact carved out the massive basin, something amazing happened. Over millions of years this deep basin now known as Sputnik Planitia began to fill up with frozen nitrogen ice. This nitrogen ice likely came from Pluto's thin atmosphere, freezing and snowing down onto the surface. Over time a thick heavy sheet of nitrogen ice accumulated in the basin like a giant glacier. This massive sheet of ice is very heavy. Its weight caused the entire surface of Pluto to slowly reorient itself. Think of it like a spinning basketball with a piece of chewing gum stuck to one side. The extra weight will make the ball wobble until the heavy spot ends up near the equator. A similar thing happened to Pluto. The extra mass of the ice in Sputnik Planitia caused Pluto to slowly roll over until the basin was located near its equator, opposite the dwarf planet's largest moon, Charon. This process, called true polar wander, explains why the heart is located where it is today. Pluto's story began long before we knew about its heart. It started on February 18, 1930. On that day, a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh was carefully studying pictures of the night sky at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. He was looking for a mysterious planet X that was thought to be affecting the orbit of Neptune. After months of patient work, he found it. A tiny faint dot of light moving slowly against the background of stars. This was Pluto. The discovery was a huge event and for decades Pluto was celebrated as the ninth planet in our solar system. The name Pluto was suggested not by a famous scientist but by an 11-year-old girl from England named Venetia Burney. She was interested in ancient myths and thought the name of the Roman god of the underworld was a perfect fit for such a dark and distant world. The name was officially adopted and Pluto took its place in our family of planets. For over 70 years, every schoolchild learned the names of the nine planets with Pluto as the final mysterious member at the edge of the solar system. It was a small but important part of our cosmic neighborhood. Pluto is not alone on its long journey around the Sun. It is the center of its own mini-system, complete with a family of five moons. The largest and most famous of these moons is Charon. Discovered in 1978, Charon is so big compared to Pluto that they are often called a double dwarf planet system, Charon is about half the size of Pluto, and the two are tidally locked. This means the same side of Pluto always faces the same side of Charon, as if they are locked in a permanent stare. They orbit a common center of gravity that is actually located in the space between them. For a long time we thought Charon was Pluto's only companion. But in 2005, as scientists were preparing for the New Horizons mission, the Hubble Space Telescope made a surprising discovery. It found two more tiny moons orbiting Pluto. These moons were named Nix and Hydra. They are much smaller than Charon, and have more irregular potato-like shapes. Their discovery showed that the Pluto system was more complex and interesting than anyone had previously thought. It was a hint that more surprises were waiting for us in this distant part of the solar system. Our journey of discovery at Pluto did not end with the New Horizons flyby in 2015. That mission gave us our first close-up look. But now, new tools are helping us learn even more. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its powerful infrared vision, is giving us a whole new perspective on Pluto and its neighbors in the Kuiper Belt. The Webb Telescope can study the light that reflects off the surfaces of these icy worlds. By analyzing this light, scientists can figure out exactly what these objects are made of. It is kind of like doing chemistry from billions of miles away. Thanks to the Webb Telescope we now know that the surfaces of Pluto and other trans-Neptunian objects are covered in a mix of different ices. We have found evidence of frozen water, frozen carbon dioxide and even complex organic molecules. These organic molecules are the building blocks of life, which is a very exciting discovery. It does not mean there is life on Pluto, but it does mean that the ingredients for life are present in the cold, distant regions of our solar system. These discoveries are helping us understand where the materials that formed Earth and other planets came from. So, we have traveled to the edge of the solar system and back. We started with a scary online rumor about Pluto crashing into Neptune. 
We learned that this story is not true. The laws of physics and a beautiful orbital resonance keep these two worlds perfectly safe from each other. But in the process of busting this myth, we uncovered a story that is far more amazing. We discovered the truth about Pluto's real history, a story of a violent ancient collision that created its giant iconic heart. We learned about its family of five moons and its journey from planet to dwarf planet. Rumors like the Pluto-Neptune crash spread quickly on the internet because they are simple and dramatic. They play on our fears and our sense of wonder. It is easy to click share on a story that sounds exciting, but these rumors often hide the real truth which is usually much more interesting. The real story of Pluto is not a simple tale of destruction. It is a complex story of gravity, chemistry, and time. It is a story that has been pieced together by generations of scientists who have dedicated their lives to looking at the evidence and asking questions.